With so much to see, it's time to spice things up and explore the culinary side of Puebla. Known for blending influences from Spain, France, and the Middle East, Poblano cuisine is full of bright flavors, fresh ingredients, and delicious results. So I'm traveling right outside the city center to Cholula to a local market for a taste of Poblano culture. Puebla is a world of flavors because at the center of the country we can find a lot of ingredients. Everything that is in the north, in the south, and everywhere, we can find it here. So I think it's one of the places with a stronger tradition of food in Mexico. And nowhere is that tradition more prevalent than in the Mexican national dish, mole poblano, which was created in Puebla. So I'm teaming up with local chef and mole expert, Liz Galicia, to make this magical sauce. This market, it's one of the most popular ones, and we can find everything here. In Mexico, mole, it's not just a dish. It's a, a tradition. Like a tradition. Uh -huh. It's part of our culture here. It can be made with five ingredients. It can be made with 60 ingredients. But the base never changes. Chile, tomato, garlic, onion. Then we can find 100 different ingredients to go in there. Today, we are using 30 ingredients. 30 okay. ingredients. Just for today, for my recipe. So you have to help me. Okay. I'll give you a list. All right. I took three years of Spanish in high school, but it's been a really long time. We'll see how this goes. All right, I've got my list from Liz. Time to go shopping. My first task, almonds. I guess it's one bag of almonds. Ochenta. 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 I have a feeling that they don't take MasterCards here. Uh, mas. Okay. Perfecto. Gracias. Hola. Uh, yo necesito chilies. Oh, here. Oop. Gracias. That one was easier. I'm getting better at this. Hola, buenos días. Necesito un ajo y una cebolla pequeña. Gracias. Hola, buenas tardes. Necesito también un poco de ajonjolí. A ver, voy a llevarme también un cuarto. Listo, gracias. Buen día. Now we need raisins. And I don't know how to say raisins in Spanish. Raisinos? Raisins? Like on the raisins? Raisins? Para mole? I'm wondering how Andrina is going now. Falta el ajonjolín, cacahuate, pasas. Don't say raisins? Para mole? Like in esquina. Esquina? Gracias. There they are. Ooh, I need, I need more. Oh. Luckily, with some help, I made it through. Tengo los ingredientes a preparar el mole. And when in Puebla, there's no better place to cook mole than at Chef Liz's El Moral de los Poblanos. This is the Mecca of mole. It's one of our favorite plates. So if you're in Puebla, you have to come here to taste a little bit of the mole. Okay, let's start with our chilies. First up, three types of chilies. We remove the seeds and give them a quick toast. Oh my god, that smells so good. Next, chopped onions, tomatoes, and tortillas. And then, animal crackers? It smells like pancakes. Like pancakes, right? Yeah. Ooh. Sorry. They turn dark brown. <laughs> All right, we got to do the animal crackers again. I burned them. Black animal crackers do not mix with mole. Gotta start over. <laughs> with our animal crackers rescued, we fry up almonds. Next, more ingredients. How long does it normally take to prepare mole? Two or three hours. Two or three hours. Peanuts are done. Okay, next, raisins. Did they expand? Yes. Oh my gosh, look at that. They and totally the color. do. Can you see? They look like grapes again. Then, platanos. I think those are done, yeah. And just when I think we're done, even more ingredients. I'm losing track. It's literally like popcorn. Ah! And my favorite. Oh, there's the chocolate. Time to combine everything the old-fashioned way. You have to push, mm -hmm. and then do like this. Oh, OK. So it takes a while. It's an arm workout. <laughs> to finish this mole, mm -hmm. we start adding the chicken broth. You have to mix it very, very well to make this kind of texture. We mix it with chicken, garnish, and now it's ready to eat. Mm. 
What did you think? It's delicious. I taste every ingredient we used. You can definitely taste the chocolate, and then you taste the chili at the end. So it's sweet, and then it kind of has a little bit of a kick. It's delicious. Thank you. Mm. Hope you cook it at home. I don't know if I could do this without you. I will try, but. You can try. <laughs> Thank you so much for today. I had such an amazing time shopping with you and just learning about mole and creating it. So. Thank you, Adrian. It was so nice to have you here. Salud to mole. Salud. <laughs>